my way of like, you know, not being affected by what people thought was not to look at people. What's up guys? It is day one post-surgery. So day three if you think of when I first got the operation done. Sorry, I'm without a shirt because I decided to wash the three shirts that I brought. I don't feel pain. Yeah, there's been a lot of liquid dripping down here so I've had to change the, the towel a few times. Um, so yeah, just bear in mind that you're gonna have to change the towel quite a few times. I am so excited for today because I get to take this thing off my head. Last night was the worst night sleep that I had. I was, the back of my head felt like a big balloon was swollen uh, and I couldn't really get comfortable. So let's go and get this taken off my head because it is itchy. What's up everybody? Um, I've just got back from the clinic. Didn't really want to film in there just because I had already filmed so much and I wasn't sure how gruesome it was going to be. But basically they took the beanie off, they cleaned it up and then they showed me what I need to do in the next few um, days. So, I'm gonna show you. They gave me two things. The first thing is shampoo. Let me move back so you can see my hair. First thing is shampoo. I spray this on my head once a day uh, and then I wash it out with this, which is, in Portuguese, it's called Solução Physiologica. Um, Sodium fluoride or something like that. I don't know what the, the English word is, but I spray this for the next 36 hours No for the next yeah 36 hours every two hours just on the the transplanted part um, And yeah, let me know what you think It looks really red and raw, but I think that's normal um, I don't have any pain at the top and I've never had pain at the top it got really itchy last night, but that's about it. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. It looks dense. <laughs> and let me show you the back. Whoopsie. Oh no, <gasps> my poor Airbnb. So the back part, can you see that? Yeah. The back part is where it kind of, it doesn't hurt, but it kind of just feels a little bit, a little bit strange at the moment. So I don't actually spray this. I just wash this with water. Um, so get like a little, a little bucket and wash it when I'm in the shower. So yeah, it's important that I do this for the next couple of days. Uh, I'm meant to be flying on Saturday, but I might change that flight. Uh, and yeah, we'll keep you updated. Let's get one more look, one more close up. It looks sore but uh, I don't feel that sore. What's up everybody? It is day five, um, it's Friday. I had my surgery on Monday and Tuesday. So I guess it's day three of recovery, day four. Before, before I show you my shampoo routine, I just wanna say that last night I had a much better sleep than the night before. I didn't wake up. The back of my head, I've just washed it. I've just washed it, but uh, as you can see, it's still a little bit red and I think it might take a, a few more days to like get rid of the, the blood stains and stuff like that. Cause I don't, it, like it still feels a little bit sensitive at the back. Uh, so I don't want to like scrub it too hard just in case like something starts bleeding again. But as you can see from the top, I'm quite happy with how it's going. The scabs, the scabs aren't too bad actually. Um, so yeah, things, things are looking good so far. So I'm going to show you what uh, I need to do. I have a shampoo bottle, shampoo, and then I have the, the, the spray that everybody uses. Now I've seen online that different clinics offer telling people to do different things, but this is what my clinic told me to do. So they told me to spray this in, leave it for a little bit, and then spray it out or clean it with this. So that is what I'm going to do right now. So let's do this. I've got the mirror here, so I'm looking in the mirror. I know I def definitely use way too much then. <laughs> and now I can't see. So yeah, I just sprayed that into 
the, the parts that, uh, that need it. And then I'm gonna wait just maybe a minute or so. So it's been about a minute and I'm gonna spray it out with the solution that they gave me. Um, that I spray every hour to keep it hydrated uh, for the first 24, 36 hours. So just spray, 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 spray. Definitely think I used too much of this, but... Better to be safe than sorry, I guess. And that's all that I need to do at this stage. What's up guys, it is Saturday. I had my surgery on Monday and Tuesday, as you know, and I'm about to go to the, oh, where's my bag? There's my bag over there. I'm about to go to the airport and I am slightly nervous. As you can see, um, I do look a little bit different uh, than what the other people will look. Uh, but I've been watching a few other videos and like my anxiety has lowered just because like, they don't care about you and uh, they, they, they're gonna have a look because like, it's different, you know, it's different to what you would normally see, but uh, yeah, it's happening, it's happening. Let me show you the back. So you can see it's kind of still a little bit, uh, a little bit manky. Let me show you the other side. Uh, and then tomorrow I'm gonna start, you know, getting the baby toothbrush and get into the front to get rid of some of those scabs. So let's go to the airport, stay with me on the journey. Ah! What's up guys, welcome to day number five post-surgery. So I had my operation on Monday and Tuesday. So let's have a look at the hair, first of all. Let me get a bit closer. So there's lots and lots of scabs now. And actually tomorrow is the day that I can start to touch it. So I bought myself a baby toothbrush uh, and I'm just gonna like slowly, but surely try and take those scabs off. By day 10, these scabs should disappear. And then let's have a look at the back. This should be good. So I've started using baby shampoo on the back, uh, getting a blot in my hand and then scrubbing it on. And that seems to have helped this quite a lot. This part is just a little bit sensitive now. Like it doesn't hurt to touch so much. Um, but once I put the baby shampoo on, it actually hurts quite a lot, so... Um, but like, if you take a painkiller, then the pain, the pain goes. But uh, the back's not too bad. It's, it's just the front that's a bit gross, but uh, it's okay. Um, as you know, I, I'm back in Rio de Janeiro now, so I fly back from... Um, some, I fly back from Belo Horizonte to Rio yesterday. And the flight was okay. Um, I think my way of avoiding embarrassment, avoiding shame, my way of like, you know, not being affected by what people thought was not to look at people. So like, I love to watch people, like people watching is one of my favorite things to do. So it was really hard to just like, you know, focus on the one thing ahead, like the wall or focus on a shop and just not look at people because, you know, sometimes I would look up and the people would be looking at me. It makes sense, right? And look at me. Like, look at me, you know, it's different. It's different from what people are doing. So I was totally fine with that. Um, I was anxious, but I think it helped that I went out for breakfast with my friend earlier that day. He kind of was just like, oh, bugger them. Like, who are they? You don't know them. You won't be here. The front, I wasn't so embarrassed about. It was the back. Like, the back was really red. There was some blood stains and things like that. So I was more nervous about the back more than anything. Um, but it was fine, and then when I got back to my apartment here in Rio, the, the lift was on a different floor, and the guard was talking to me, and he kept looking at it, and I was just like, stop looking at it, I know I'm self-conscious, uh, but it's okay. So, day five, done and dusted. Tomorrow, I can start to wash it, and actually, I have, where is it? Here it is. I was recommended to buy a baby toothbrush. This is a toothbrush for ages three years and plus. I'm not sure how babies brush their teeth. I don't know. So what I'll do tomorrow is I'll spray it with shampoo and then I'll slowly um, just 
touch the surface. I don't want to get too into it too soon because um, I'm just not sure of what things are doing. But I've looked at so many videos and they all recommend that you can start to uh, wash your hair by the sixth day post-surgery because apparently the grafts are in place now. Um, oh, I will say it was... I haven't experienced itch before and it started to itch last night around midnight and I couldn't sleep. I was just, I was going crazy and on edge. So I have some, um, I have some antihistamine tablets and this has Loratadina, Loratadina? I'm not sure what it is in English, um, but this is Claritin, like, I guess like Zyrtec or something like Zyrtec or something like that, antihistamine, uh, and it stopped the itch like within half an hour or however, however long it takes to kick in so I've been taking this um, especially for the itch because it's really itchy at the moment I just want to like get my fingers and scratch it um, <laughs> but yeah what's up everybody day six of week one it is Monday and yes I'm in the same t-shirt as day five uh, and I may have slept in this t-shirt but oh well doesn't matter as you can see from my hair let's get it zoom in I washed it for the first time today with my toothbrush uh, and the reason why I didn't show you is because I was too worried about like not getting anything wrong. Um, not many scabs come off, I will say that. Maybe they'll come off, start to come off a little bit more tomorrow, but not too much came off, but I was super, 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 super gentle. But what I did notice is that the hair is pretty much in there now. Let's get right in you can see that it's still quite still quite scabby so hopefully by the time you know Tuesday Wednesday Thursday things can start to come down calm down uh, it's still really itchy really really itchy but that's the only thing that I've noticed just a bit itchy now the back the back is starting to get a bit dry a bit scabby I've been washing it with baby shampoo for about three days now um, so let's take a look at that. Can you see this? Yes, you can. So the back, you can notice it's kind of scabby. It still feels very, very hard and a little bit sore. So that's about it. Um, yeah, just really scab. I'm, I'm sure you can put a moisturizing cream or something on like that, but I just want to let it heal naturally. Tomorrow, if I have the courage, then I will take the camera in and I'll show you how I wash my hair. Uh, I'm currently using this little toothbrush to just go through it, but um, you know, I might use my fingers tomorrow because it just feels really weird. It's, it's, the hair feels different to what the normal hair feels like. Like it feels a lot sharper than what the hair on the top does feel like. But yeah, that's the end of day six and I'll show you tomorrow, day seven.